Now you can import a 3D model directly into Premiere Pro and animate it without using third-party 3D software. In fact, Premiere Pro does not support importing 3D models by default, but I have created a free add-on, Quick 3D Animator, for my Motion Pro plugin. This tool allows you to import any model in GLB format into the Premiere Pro timeline. Then using ready-made presets, you can animate the 3D model in a few clicks, and also set up the camera and lighting. So make sure you have the latest version of Premiere Pro installed, and let's start the tutorial. So activate the Quick 3D Animator package. In this section, there are several options for 3D scenes, which differ from each other by the type of animation. This category contains presets with looped animation of the camera or 3D model. This set includes several dozen presets with animations consisting of three parts. Model appearance, a loop with minimal animation, and then disappearance. These presets feature stylish and smooth camera animations, focusing on the 3D model. This category of presets uses nonlinear animation with time shifted transformations. This section does not have animation presets. You can use it when your 3D model already includes animation, and you just need to adjust the camera angle and lighting. For example, we will use this free 3D model from Sketchfab. Download the model in GLB format and go to Premiere Pro. Before importing, you can choose the rendering quality for the 3D model. Here, you can also select the type of scene lighting, default or lighting using a custom HDR map. I'll explain about custom HDR maps later. So, select a preset category and click Import GLB file. In the Import window that appears, select the GLB file of the downloaded model. The 3D model has been successfully imported into the timeline. To customize it, select a 3D model clip and open the Essential Graphics panel. Here, you will find all the available customization parameters. Next, we need to adjust the 3D model to fit the scene's dimensions. To do this, enable the Show Scene Grid checkbox and go to the Initial Transform section. Here, using the transformation controls, position and scale the 3D model so that it is centered in the scene. For convenience, you can temporarily change the camera view mode. In the camera section, you can refine the position and angle of the camera to suit your 3D model better. Additionally, here you can change the zoom and field of view of the camera. Now you can disable the scene grid. Go to the lighting section. Here, adjust the intensity and angle of lighting. To enable the model to cast shadows, click this checkbox. Additionally, you can enable the matte shadow floor. Now you can apply a ready-to-use animation preset to the 3D model. To do this, select the 3D model clip and apply any preset from the current category. On the Polyhaven website, there are hundreds of free HDR maps that you can use to light your 3D scene. To use such a map, download it in HDR format. Then, in the Motion Bro plugin, enable the custom HDR mode in the lighting settings. Now, click the Import button. As before, in the first import window, select the GLB file. In the next window, select the HDR map file. Your scene will now be lit using the custom HDR map.
In addition to 3D models, you can import a similar 3D title onto the timeline and animate it using ready-made presets. To add a title to the timeline, go to the Import section and click on Import 3D Title. Then in the Essential Graphics panel, change the title text. Well, that's all. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss new video tutorials and products for motion design. This was Video Lancer. Bye.